uh, beds. So it's the same corn here as the same corn there. A different variety of corn. Uh, third variety of corn, I think, we put in. And then all the other things all the way down. And, and you just kind of look at everything and you go, way greener. <laughs> yeah, I, I choose left. Yeah. I want this side. We um, have uh, people who are training to become um, consultants uh, in, in the biological approach. And uh, we like to have them come and pick an area of the production and, uh, and, and uh, start converting the dirt. Because believe me, this is dirt to start out with um, and start converting it into the uh, real soil. And they can grow whatever they want to grow to, to do those conversions. So one of the little plots we have right now, we had a student that was here and uh, he started his, um, his project here and then decided that he wanted to go home to Texas. And so uh, he kind of left us in the lurch. <laughs> but we do have people come in and work on farm. Um, we usually ask that um, they help us out on the rest of the farm in exchange for us giving them the land to do that um, practical, do the shift from dirt in, back into soil. Um, whatever they produce on the plot, they can sell. And they keep that money. So as long as they're trading rent on the land, um, some of the instruction that we're giving them, um, because I'm always willing to talk about, why aren't things working? Should I be using compost or compost tea? Or, you know, what should I be doing? Take a look at your soil. What do you have in the soil? What's missing? So what do you still have to improve? And keep working on it, keep working on it until you get there. So are you doing like the, uh, let's see if I can say it right, the Burleys funnel? Or is um, it, that the correct word? The Burleys? Yeah, the Burleys. Yeah, I'm pronouncing it different. All right. Um, Burleys funnels are for extracting microarthropods. Right, but doesn't that give you an indication of where your soil is at? Yep, it's um, just that we have... Nothing. You know, <laughs> Not yeah. there yet. Because we, we did come in and rototilled everything here. Mm -hmm. Because we're seeing that with the compaction layers in the soil, the um, residues of the pesticides in We're being here, held. It, so much of that is just not able to take off. And so we said, okay, here, we're going to at least do what most everybody would do anyway, is come in with the tillage equipment and till it off. And the other option is you key line it, but is there someone with a key line plow here? Yeah, no, no. not even close. <laughs> you know, we, if we went down to you know, Diego, you, you would, but no one's going to transport equipment that far just to, and most people, you know, well, it can't be that far to go down to San Diego, Elaine, it's in California. Uh, I think it's an eight hour trip to get down there from here. Yeah. So. Logistics and cost are important mm -hmm. factors. So we just killed the living daylights out of it. And then from now on, plus biology, um, no biology, we've got a, f a few problems with your, the pressure. You can see that these upper beds aren't getting um, as much water as the lower beds. So as we go down that way, I'm going to turn off the lower beds so we get the upper beds going. So. Are you doing... Um uh, peanuts with the corn? No, no. Um, that increases the yield of both, I have recently learned. We do have, um, we wanted to have a cover crop, and again, you put the cover crop in so it would start growing and it all froze. So, uh, Mother Nature just wanted a little bit more on the soil for the season.